No, I was, making, I was making jokes to my wife because she went to pick up the food, and I was like, wouldn't it be funny to see a bunch of guys standing around talking about Nyquist theorem or something, drinking out of juice boxes, and of course she went and buys this free side. Oh, can you hear that in 2K, man? <laughs> this is so bizarre. So it looks like an eighth-year-old uh, birthday party over there. <laughs> so I think uh, the energy of the sugar and the uh, controversial subject matter of the evening should make a very exciting bar map. Thanks for coming tonight. We've got John De Fiore. I hope I said your name right. Great. He's going to drop the bomb on this place, and uh, glad you guys made it. Yeah. John? Thanks. All right, so tonight's subject is audio myths, and uh, you know, I'm not going to try to tell everybody here what they should or shouldn't buy or can or can't hear, but the purpose is really to give you the tools and the understanding of how to run tests so you can figure it out pretty much on your own. So the agenda is evaluating gear, uh, including cables, um, preamps, you know, those kind of things. Um, how can you design an experiment to properly evaluate it and not get yourself confused or uh, you know, spend your money in the wrong place? You know, the bottom line is, as musicians and people trying to learn how to record or do a better job recording, what you want to do is spend your money in the right places. You don't want to spend your money on stuff you know, huge amounts of money on stuff that's not going to make any difference or that's going to make a very marginal difference when you could spend the same dollars on something that could make quite a substantial difference. And then we'll talk a little bit about silly stuff. $1,200 cables, knobs, wood knobs, and see if any of that makes any sense at all. And I'm hoping tonight can be interactive, so you know, feel free to shout out and call me names or uh, raise your hand or ask questions or whatever.